Templar, Dread Templar. Now, you probably can see that it's been a little while. We went back and, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Grind it, kind of? Fully explored? Hold on, I gotta test something. Ah, there it goes. Let me get sure God Mode was not on anymore. You may have noticed that my armor is at 580. That's because when God Mode's on and you pick up armor shards, they sort of just keep on stacking. And, uh, <laughs> just had to make sure that was off. Hold on, let's see if infinite ammo is off. I'm gonna try this again. Because now we're pretty, pretty much got everything except for like maybe one of them. I don't think we need it though. I think it was one of the trap upgrades. But now at this point, I mean, short of getting this trap upgrade for the trap launcher, like because these cost two and then these are going to cost three. Those are four. These are three. You know what I mean? But pretty much we're rocking all damage on the base stuff. We got damage on the Inferno Revolver. We got the Lucky Clover on the main character body over here. What else did I get over here? Can I get something? I didn't check this stuff. Oh, level 2 health, level 2. Uh, the cooldown of the dash. We might as well be getting these on, too. I didn't even think about that. I picked them up. Didn't think anything about it. The times 2 versions. That, that should boost us up a little bit more. We got the legendary, uh, we got the hell screams for the pistols, and then live again, which I think is, is pretty OP. Live again turns it to where your sawed off shotgun can now shoot each shell individually, but the damage stays the same. So that's pretty nice. Infinite ammo is off. Yes, good, good. I think pretty much we're all stacked up. <laughs> I'm gonna give this the old college try again, but. If we can't beat them like this, I'll, I'll probably turn infinite ammo on at least. Then we'll fight them with our huge stack of health. But we're back. Let's take on this. Let's take on this death knight. Death, death knight. I think it's a hell knight, right? Yeah, hell knight. We're just gonna get in there and talk to him, you know? Alright. He's hit. He bears the mark. Gonna try to get him down to health. Oh, 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 oh. oh. But I wanna use up everything that's good. <laughs> I don't think he drops ammo though, does he? I guess I can. Yeah, I don't think he drops ammo, so I'm gonna try to keep as many bullets as possible before we get him to activate his shield ball. There it is. There it is. So here's the re real bread and butter. Really don't want to get hit by that because I found out last time that does like 60 damage. Also, I never got good at dodging that. Also, it looks like he's got some armor piercing. Alright, I think we're gonna be okay, though. Let's do a decent damage. Dancing. I'm 
dancing. I'm dancing. I got him. He's done. He's dead. Tough. Tough. Tough dude. I don't know if you noticed, but... We still managed to lose. What is that? About 110 armor? <laughs> So that armor is probably going to help us out for a while. Our max health is now 125, but we still managed to lose health, so he does do damage through the armor. But, I would say that's a fairly legit run if I somehow magically got to this point without taking any... Why, well, I still took some armor damage here and there, because there were some points when I was gathering all the secrets and all the crests and whatever, and I accidentally, like didn't have god mode on or forgot to turn it on and I got hit a couple of times so that's why it actually would have been higher armor but still we're back on track now we finished this is the end of episode 2 not to mention I don't know if you notice how powerful live again was that double that double tap oh it's nice basically it turns one shotgun shell into being worth a double barrel shot that's what it does I know it doesn't say that but that's what it does that's exactly what it feels like. I use a lot of this. I love this gun. I didn't even use the gauntlet. I forgot to use it. It's the whole point of it. I mean, it's not the whole point of it. To me, that is the whole point of it. Just because I guess you can use it to one-shot the purple boys. You know what I'm talking about? The mortar dudes. Yeah. Uh, I was using the throw feature, even though right now the damage upgrades on the katanas are all about the, um, uh, the slicing. I'll probably change that. I'll probably change it to all the damage in the throw. But let's go ahead and move on to the next... To the beginning of episode 3. Hold on. These things are pretty good, too. Use a lot of its ammo. Yes, let's leave. Because there's no way back down for me to collect the ammo that's still out there. So let's just go. Hold on. We got, like, this intermediate hawk to go through. Yes, I missed a silver rune on this level. It was right at the beginning, that's why. Right before you jump through the purple cross door thing. And I'll probably have to go back and grab it at some point. But we're back on track now. When the sun rose. I came out of the cabin. I knelt beside my grandfather's blood-soaked body. Oppressive silence fell as I shivered in shock. I do not know how much time passed before a man in a black robe came before me. He called himself... Lord, Ooh. he offered me a way <laughs> I'm to the channel Lord. my grief. The path of a dark knight who hunts demons. I would become their Was nightmare. the Templar dread to deserved, but not the no one necessarily needed right now. So I would be able to command the dread force. Through this power, I would be able to enter the dark realms and slay demons. The following ten days after the joining would test my character as the pain endured would be unimaginable. The risk of death would grow as the day of the final fusion neared. <laughs> what was my answer? Goofy guffs. <laughs> Slip happy. Dippity bappy. That's what I said. Full disclosure, I'm still going through sprawl at the same time as I'm doing this playthrough. Now that I've caught up. Uh, so it might be similar to uh, the staggering I was doing uh, before when I usually did two games at the same time. If you don't know, you don't know. If it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I'm just full disclosure. Full disclosure. Still going through sprawl right now. Dead sales. You know what? Because of the problem this game has, to where if you don't, if you're not mid maxing, you're lacking. I'm going to play with the playthrough open now, the walkthrough. I'm going to be finding the secrets. Alright, let's see. Uh, we're returning to the fray. Search for the books, uh, red covers, throughout the Grand Library. Use them to read snippets. Say what? Hold on. And that's for the mega secret inside the entire game, though. So the first actual secret. Let's aboard the ship. All right, we'll wait for that one. Shell location. All right, we're here. 
We're inside this boat. You guys real? No? That's a big dial over there. Kind of a big area for no enemies, and also it's quiet. Locked. We have to get the correct key card for it. Descendants of the Hector Bloodline wielded a dread force against demons. This ability grows stronger as they age. So the older you get, the more better at Templaring around you get, apparently. So we need the red key card for that one. Interesting. Bunch of ghost librarians. Or ghost readers, I guess. Disciples? Are these people related to me? These other ghosts of other Templars? I'm liking this, though. It reminds me of Minecraft. Is that door also locked? The one with the skulls on it? Yes, it is. Locked. Locked and blocked. Huh. Interesting. Course of action. Is this is this like Mario World? I gotta walk into the painting? I will. The secret of the dark moon slumbers eternally. And are under the keen crimson eye of the demon. Or the demon. Singular demon. One demon was doing eye stuff. Keep an eye out for him. He's been known to be a weirdo. I forget his name, but he is all about the moon and the crimson, crimson eye. Can I... A daughter of the head of the Hector family fell in love with a hunter, ran from the family, and disappeared. Oh, the Hector family, huh? Romeo and Juliet, ah, Pro Beast Pro. Yes, stars above. Here we go. The second son of the Hector family, Roland, defeated Bilzebur. <laughs> Bilzebur. But the young man was grievously wounded and disappeared. Oh, I wonder how or why. I don't know. This is a weird change of pace. I'm not against it entirely. But it is a little bit of the silly billies. How oh, long is it going to take us to use up this armor and we've saved up? Probably not long, honestly. A couple of mistakes, a couple of touches and squeezes. Be back to where we were. Demon's Idol of Dark Realm. Bilzebur attacked the hair of the Hector and after obtaining Dreadforce, killed most of the family. Wait, so a demon got the Dreadforce as well? <laughs> he touched the speed force meant for Templars. The Dread Force. The... Do we go purple or red first? I feel like red. I feel like it calls to me. Ah! Uh... Ding! Bong! Spring! Sprung! Saving. Mind if I grab some of these bullets? Well then. Those insects are dead then. Wait, what's with these ice folk? Whoa, did you just summon a big dude? Notice how it died only two shots? Alright, he's dead now. I'm curious about these guys. Hold on, let's just. No? Okay. Well, they're not as strong as, uh, the big ones. Wait a minute, does, do each of these shots take up more ammo when you're using them? They do! Dang. I really like these, too. They take up four bullets per shot, though. Which, for the damage they're doing, I guess it's a fair trade. Kinda. Yeah, 
But comparatively speaking... I mean... Shotgun's really putting it out there. Ooh, what's this? A rabbit. Yeah, that armor's disappearing quickly now. We've already lost a hundred of it. What's a rabbit? That increased the movement speed and you are no longer affected by the slowing effect. What does that mean? I'm gonna keep um, uh, four leaf clover equipped. No idea what the rabbit means. For all I know, it means, you know, bad things happen. They reach up and grab you. I don't feel like getting grabbed. Not yet, anyway. Well, that was a bad miss. What the? Did that pop of smoke just shoot a rocket at me? Okay, it's dead now. Okay, it's dead now. I'm already running all on ammo on a lot of things. I got too used to... I got too comfortable with the, um, uh... Infinite ammo. Yeah, it's not so bad. How they go about it? Yeah, it's not so bad. Just gotta keep my eye out for flying things that hurt. What is that? Thank God it died in two shotgun shells. I was gonna have to change the prescription. Freak jobs! They summon ice spikes. Wait, did they poop those out too? Did they poop out the little ones? Alright, we got bits and bops bopping around now. Right, there's another freak job down there. While we're on the ship, let's just take a little look around. This is where we're supposed to find the goodies. What the? Why are they stealth? Why do they possess the ability to sneak up on me? Also, now that infinite ammo is off, do, am I shooting two shotgun shells per slap? Per slap hammer? <laughs> is it still happening regardless? This. Here it is. Music changed up a lot. Got kind of dramatic and dynamic. Can I get back upstairs? Let me do that with flipping it. I have to see now. I wasn't paying attention before, now I am. Oh! Cast four regular bullets per, <laughs> per bullet now. Hold on. He's coming upstairs talking to me, isn't he? Yeah, there he is. Come on then! No, it counts as one. I don't know why I thought it was something else. I thought it would cost any more ammo. the red juice. Hold on, I found that one. Let me quickly... Oh, this won't get too annoying. Bob and the previous seeker jump out from the opening. Da -da -da. Actually, I can find the room with two health packs. What? I don't know the map, bro. It's gonna require me to think and do stuff. Let's talk about this over here. Ooh, armor shards. Get a little bit of that big shield back on. 
Okay, this isn't it. That's just revolver bullets. Which is fine. Ah! Some sort of weird pirate music going on. They're upset with me. Pirate folk are, in any way. Interesting. Oh! I was up top. Getting warm. Touching their material witnesses. What the? Nice try. Sorry. <laughs> Look, they dance along with the music. Lumpy folks. But still murderable. Which makes me like them. Man, this boat is broken. This that shit. Damn, they take six shots. You guys are tough. No! Gotcha. What about this? Does that kill you? Two, okay. Go ahead and keep the damage upgrades equipped. This is not where I'm supposed to be going. This is not. This is not where the secrets and lies were, man. I have no idea where that is. I think it's still on the boat. Come on. Jump out. Uh, opening. Next. Oh, no, back, back. Okay. I'm going to find a room or two to help them. Okay. It's a little confusing. So far, everything's been fine except for this part right here. Those are regular bullets down there. We don't need those. Let's go down here again. I think it's here. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just stupid. Ah, here it is. Gotcha. Katana Focus 2. Nuclear Boogle. Stepping under the overlook from the top, check the broken lock of our traffic from the front of my armor wall. That's good. Alright, I was up there, but I'm, I have no idea what they're talking about. The playthrough has changed dyna dynamically, alright? Instead of just being all action, now we're actually doing a completionist playthrough. Where I show you where all the secrets are. This one, we were just up here. Now it's telling me we gotta loop it, swoop it, and pull it. To say it the least. Oh, oh. Ah, there you are. There's my good boys. Don't need them yet. But still, there they are. Now you know. I have turned to the Overlook entrance. The shore ledge steps out from the left to reach the top side. Make your way to the very end to find some ammo. The effects are on the corner. I have no idea. Is that over there? Oh. Wait. This can't be it. Aha! There it is. A little bit of a tricky one. Uh, I'll bring it open so we can keep track of it. You actually push tab and it just tells you like everything in the game. Or like everything you found so far. 
Alright, so this is the pass, the save point next to the green gate and look for a semi-hidden ladder in the area that seems to be a dead end. Utilize the rock nearby, dash forward, climb it, take the rocket steps around, get to the top side, so grab the armor as well as the ammo. Hmm, gotta look for that save point past the green gate. So this might be a point now. So we're pretty much caught up for the most part. Let's go over here. I don't even know where the green gate is. I'm not even sure there is a green gate. It could be lying to me for some reason. Here's a jumping point. You're dead. It's good. I don't admire the range on it, though. I don't admire the range. Oh, here we go. Keep things even. What is this? This is another overlook. This can't be right, but it can't be wrong, either. Let's go up here. I would just hate to have to, like, do a bunch of backtracking, is all. There's fist ammo, for some reason. Arbitrarily placed here. Oh, what's this? Pistol expansion 2. Nukila Boogaloo. I mean, when it takes four bullets per shot. And it takes three of those four bullets just to kill those little ones. I mean... Seems a bit drop heavy. What the? How do I even come up here from out there? Right? It's just a cool view. Do I have to leap out there like a freak? What's that up there? How do I get up there? I'm very confused. Where I came from. What was it here? Did I come from over here? No. Most certainly didn't come from over here. Ah, oh, here's the green gate. Hmm. That kills him in one shot. Alright, come on up here. I don't know how you're gonna come up here. There he is. Look at him. I missed. Where are you? There you are. Alright, he's gone now. That's all right, I'm done hair now. What are you gonna do about it, miss? About him? You got your friend, too. It ain't all bad. But this little ledge down here now is making me ask questions. All right. So here's the green gate they were talking about. Very green. He just finds some kind of lever. I gotta pull a lever out of the wall and shove it in here. Gotta be lever boy. Clever lever. Oh, is that the that's the save point they were talking about? Ah! Oh, I think I got a perfect headshot. Ah! I don't like how they slow me down. The little green ones. 
They come and grab me, I guess, or something. Or they bite me, or they just get inside my hitbox. Slow me down with their goofiness. Alright. That can't be the ladder, ladder they're talking about. They're talking about something else. Like ah! One thing I do like about them, though, you know, they are cost heavy. They have piercing. So if there's a bunch of enemies lined up, they go through them. So that's nice. Oh, this doesn't appear to be. I have no idea. Is that what? Is that what I'm looking for? That can't be it. Oh, maybe it is. Oh. But this ain't the end. Here we go. This is it. Big boy slip slaps. <laughs> All of our armor's almost gone now. We're finding them. We're finding them. Let's see. Could have you used the bed found in the quarters of the third ship to reveal a hidden compartment full of three armor plates and a lore book? You're gonna want that lore book. Oh, come on! Starting to get ridiculously unnecessary. Damn, they're dead. Final gunshot was a crescendo on their <laughs> baloney life. Huh? All right. Carefully. We're upstairs. We're doing all right. this right? Am I looking at this? Is this something that matters to me? Oh. What the? <laughs> That's where they were weaker than that. Not expect to see one of those guys here. Ow! Be on the bed. Oh, three little armor shards and the book. The seek of the red moon uh, slumbers eternally under the keen crimson eye of the demon. I feel like I already read that in the library, right? The book was the same book. Find the people jump out the hole when you're next to the wheel and find a hidden room. This one's right here. This one should be easy. Aha! Uh -huh. In front of Revolver Slaughter 2. That's nice. Oh, so I, I gotta do something to turn this wheel then, don't I? We'll come back to that, I guess. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Citizen. I wish to save. Unlocking the green gate with the wheel. Climb the planks to the left to reach. Okay, I gotta unlock the green gate first. Do something. 
Oh, I got the green wheel. Okay, let's get out of here. What's over here? <laughs> Tiny health and ammo. My favorite. It's kind of like big health, but smaller. Menomina, you know what I'm saying? Is there a hole in the ship over here? No, I gotta just leap like a freak for it. All right. So you're telling me that moon area literally was just there to be the moon area? I mean, it's fine. I'll deal with it. You want to tell me to get out of here while we're mooning around? Uh, going right over there. I remember seeing that. I guess it's nothing. Actually, let's double check. That is a weird nothing to have right there. Oh, it's the ammo. I forgot, it's the pistol ammo. I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it again just in case. The big fist. <laughs> the five finger punch of death. Oh, oh. I forgot. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. I'm coming in spicy. Who's the green door? How'd I end up here? Wait. Green door was over here, right? I passed by it somehow. Hold on. Was it the other way? It's the moon, right? Yeah, that's the moon. It's not the green gate. The weird moon shot area. Boy, could I use a map? Fine. The green gate was here. The green gate was here next to the green, sh next to the sh third ship. Aha! And now, in the here, the secret ladder. Ah! They got more Fisto ammo. They're giving it to us now for some reason. They want us to use it more often, on the good faith that they'll give us ammo for it. I guess I will. Is that all that's up here? This is supposed to house some ammo and some armor plates, but I don't see any armor plates. Alright. Oh, hold on. Did I climb the wrong ladder? It can't be right. It said it was a secret. Alright. That's when we teleport back. Seems pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I was like, can I touch the energies? We get the red key card, we teleport back. Crack part in the ice. That should be easy to do. Covered floor. Is it obvious? The front leads to the next level. Wow, we're not even, we're not even close to being done. We haven't found the side area. We only found one of the blood gems. But we did the main quest, basically. Oh, there's a hole in the floor here. Hold on, let's... Scooch. Scooch our way over here. And it's so weird when you complete the main quest really easily <laughs> compared to, like, finding all the secrets. Oh, this is the side area. We found it.
mups at the exit. Well, let's take a look at this. We've unlocked a few things, haven't we? Alright, that's pretty OP. You recharge when you get kills with the katanas, you recharge the um, uh, Inferno Gauntlet. Why would I not why would that not be the next thing I get? Or, or for three we can get another revolver. Oh wow, I can increase the damage even further. I might go for this one just because that sounds stupid. <laughs> I'd have to get melee kills, but there's plenty of tiny enemies. We'll see how it works out. Also, isn't there something I want to change out? Damage, 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 damage. Get the reset slot, and then, yeah, I can do it for that. So. That's gonna make using the katanas viable. Still, though, on top of that. Oh. Well, on the plus side, what a time to use them. And now, if you don't mind... Alright, that thing's dead. Ah, oh, man! Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. On the plus side, I think everything that we equipped is still equipped. Yes. So, all we gotta do... No kill a boogaloo. I'm gonna jump down there like a freak, okay? Alright. Can I attack these? I can! Nice. Alright, keeping all those rolls in mind. And now all my armor is gone for real. And we did it. Now how much of those sword kills? Hey! I'm already halfway to a shot after just killing two of those ball energy balls that were chasing me. That ain't bad. Although it will change the dynamic of my playstyle. Alright, so where in the Nine Divines? Aha! Big heals. Slam jams. I can start picking up armor again. I probably could have used the slow mo at some point. Oh man, there's no ledge to grab onto so I can climb up there to grab anything that they drop. You know what? That's fine. On here. Jump across the ledge where Halifax can be seen residing and send the slope with that by the misaligned texture. Okay. Just hiding in the smoke. Come on here, you little freak. Gotcha. Give me the juice. Look at that. That is nice. That is a goofy power. Ah! 
Boy, I ought to. Give me your soul. Give me your soul. You're not using it. I'm about to fist someone now. Ah, dang it. It tricked me. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Oh, you little freak. Nice. This. Is how we combo things. We could use more health and armor, though. Ooh, get that speed, can I pull it on time? Aha! Hiding it from me, were ya? Using the powers of evil to canoodle. Alright, hold on. I think we're done. I think we did it. Actually, no, there's a super secret left. Oh, okay. We just gotta find the shovel on the third ship. Is that right? Okay. I don't know how I missed that or where it is. I have no idea where that is. We'll go back though and find out. I have no idea, but we'll find out. Make it work. That's right. That's right. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Hey. It pays to be the king. That's a good trade, I think. What we got here? A bloodstone. And Inferno Rocket Slaughter too. And down there's an abyss of death, and so is here, alright? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Alright, gotta go back to the third ship now. While also trying to remember where we left all those armors. Is there one here? <laughs> no, no, no. Right? Righteous? There was some on here. Yeah, there's some. A decent sized one, too. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to cheese that just yet. I think it's a little too high from the inside right there. I think it's doable, it's just... That's a weird rough one. But this is the ship graveyard, huh? Interesting. What is the history of the Dread Templar? Why are they like this? Grabbing religion, shoving them up things. This is the third ship, isn't it? This would be considered the second one, right? We go this way. It's the green gate that has the third ship. That ship one, this ship two, this ship three over yonder. Ah. Well, I, for the life of me, can't remember how to get up there. Oh, it's a ladder here. That was normal way too. Alright, up here. Somewhere up here. There should be a freak. Oh, 
Hello? Where is he? Oh, is there a ledge over there? Oh. <laughs> hey! Ha! Ah, there he is. Grant, take his shovel. A shovel was obtained. And now I forget what we do. I legit forget everything now. Ah, we go back to the moon. I knew it wasn't for nothing. It wasn't. It wasn't just there for looks. I went the wrong way. <laughs> I'm so good at the game. Self-navigation is a skill I've gained through sheer will. I remember this place like the back of my hand. If I had hands. This is backtracking where I start. I guess go this way. Don't worry, folks, I'm a professional. Well, not the last time I'll touch a grave, and it won't be the last. There's a key. A key with a moon pattern was obtained. Wait a... Oh, I'm, I'm a missing... Oh, where is that? Oh, it's in the side area. God bless it. Alright, let's go. My word. All right, we gotta get teleported back to the red uh, gate. But how? What's the fastest way? I think, actually, if I just travel this way, all right? Red gate's like right there. That'd have been a hell of a time to die right there, wouldn't it? Just eat it right there into the abyss. Cause now, oh, actually, it's underneath us, isn't it? Yeah, it's over here. Whoa. Talk to these fold. They're fine. Do they have enough points for inferno slot, and not even close. Can you get that inferno rocket damage. There's one thing I've learned from this game: it's that damage, damage, damage. Everything else is just a silly add-on. The true MVP, which is just damage. Kill everything quickly and it can't kill you. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. My rock climbing skills. They must be brought into question now. Have I known about this? I mean, sometimes it does tell you, like, little side notes to say, hey, this would be a good time to actually investigate the, um, uh, the super secret. Blood Moon! Icicle. The Inferno Rocket. What's it, turn into ice damage? That's pretty awesome. That's pretty OP. I got two now. I think that's too much, though. Right? Right? He asked as if the world was going to answer him. You can leave now for certain, though. That is definitely this area taken care of. That is everything. All the gems. All the runes. Take me there. Take me down to Paradise City. Dang, they made the episode really long, didn't it? I'm going to try... This time, now that I think about it, next time, what I'll do is I'll read ahead and plan accordingly. Ooh, there's one right here for free. Blackbow Focus 2. Oh, that gives me three points. I might, I'm probably just going to do the rocket then, unless there's another 
revolver? You know what? I could go for more damage with the revolver. I feel like now it's time to actually go for the damage for the rocket, maybe. Maybe. Or go for golden black bow. Uh, yeah, it makes its damage go up. The bow does plenty of damage already. Anywho, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do a cut right here. Thank you all. Hopefully you all enjoyed. We're back into Dread Templar. Playing at the same time as Sprawl. We're gonna beat it. Even if it requires cheating. A lot. <laughs> which which I don't need to for the most part. I mean, we did fight the boss. He did take off 100 armor and a little bit of health. But even if I didn't have all that armor, if I had the max armor that was allowed right then and there, because they drop 125 armor right there at the beginning of that fight. So if I just had all those upgrades, I probably would have had about the same health but no armor. So I say it was a fairly fair fight, although I did have to backtrack and collect all those runes and go straight damage on all my attacks. But, I mean, that's that seems to be a common, just like, that's just part of the gameplay for Dread Templar. But thank you all. Hopefully you all enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Keep on posting. We'll see you in the next episode. Don't take it easy. I'm over here. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I'm dancing. I got him. He's done. He's dead. <laughs>